In episode 9 of Off the Beaten Track, we return to Williams Hill in southern Monterey County, California. This time we're going to visit the W15 track, which is technically part of Williams Hill, but is not directly connected to any of the other trails in Williams Hill. It's a three mile route and it's a little more challenging than some of the other tracks that we've seen in Williams Hill. So come with us now as we explore the three miles of the W15 in Williams Hill for the first time. Traveling south here on the 101 freeway from King City. And we are going to take the San Lucas exit. Going to make a right turn though onto the Lockwood San Lucas Road. That is the only way to get onto the W15. Taking a few liberties there with the frame rate. So we're on the San Lucas uh, Road, Lockwood San Lucas Road here. And just a few miles from now, we'll turn off a right turn onto the W15. Turning off the Lockwood San Lucas Road here onto the BLM W15. And we're sort of late in the day, so hopefully the shadows don't catch us and leave us in the dark but this is the first time we've been up this track as noted it is not connected to the rest of the williams hill um, track system and uh, it is part of that system as you sort of can tell by the naming w in the track name w15 is williams hill so it is part of the adjacent BLM property. And it looks like there are tracks that go through, but they're on private land basically, and so they're behind gates. So the only way to get from here to the rest of Williams Hill is to go through either through Lockwood or back out to the 101 and come in uh, from that side on the Lockwood San Auto Road. Um, so this is quite a short track, it's about three miles in total. And we're going to do things a bit different for this video relative to the other videos in this series. We're basically going to do the entire track in one shot without doing any edits. So it's only about three miles, that equates to about 30 minutes of driving time. So we have a 30 minute long section here as we go from beginning to end on the track. We'll add chapter marks in the description below so that you can sort of zoom ahead to different parts of the video if that is interesting to you. Um, additionally, we'll include a time lapse or a hyperlapse rather of the drive back out, which will be the complete track in reverse. So from the end of the track back out to the road on Lockwood San Lucas Road. And this section is quite steep. I think this um, this track is going to be probably uh, the most challenging track that we've been on in the Williams Hill track system. It goes up pretty steeply here, and then there are a few sharp turns on the map on the track as well. Now, overlaid on the video here, we'll add the progress along the GPX track. Uh, GPX is downloadable through the Overland Bound OB1 app as usual and the link for that is in the description below. Basically though you can see on the green line that'll be on the left of the video our progress along the track and it goes basically from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen so you'll see there you know roughly how far along we are on the track. So looking to our left here, and we'll stop in a moment and sort of look down to the left. 
So that's why we came in. Um, basically doubled back and climbed a fairly steep climb and then a switch back to get to where we are. Now this track is definitely a single track, <laughs> track, single lane track. Um, it's not one and a half or two lanes. And, you know, we're in a full-size truck here, obviously. I think we're about at the limit for what you might reasonably expect to bring up here. So I certainly would not bring an RV up here. And any kind of trailer of significant size. So I think uh, it's just asking too much to, to try and make some other turns. Which are basically 180 degree uh, switchbacks in a couple of places. So we're just taking it quite gingerly up here. It's the first time, as I mentioned, that we've been up the track and don't quite know what to expect. Even though this is in our backyard, it's a place we've never explored until now. Most of the track is like this on a ridge stop, so you get pretty good views to the right and the left. Over to the right, that's generally toward the Salinas Valley, where the 101 freeway runs, and then to the left is generally toward Lockwood Valley, and towards the coast, which is about 15, 20 miles from here. see over to the right what looks like a lot of trails over there and I think for the most part those are going to be on private property so they're not trails that you can explore without permission and they're going to be behind gates or th through someone's backyard and like a lot of the tracks that we've been on in this series um, this the W15 itself does border on private property on both sides at different points so it bears repeating that any no trespassing and no hunting signs should be obeyed. I mean, it's a common courtesy. We do want to keep these tracks open and do not want to abuse that. This is BLM property and so dispersed camping is allowed up here. And I, I do believe there are a couple of areas that are marked out and reserved for camping. Though at this point I don't know what kind of condition they're in and we'll see. We'll sort of see that as we progress. And uh, you'll find out with me. And I believe the peak you can see at uh, the top left side of the screen there is Williams Hill. So that is the other part of the Williams Hill recreation area. Not connected to this track, although adjacent. So you can't get there from here. Not without going down paved roads. See the ridge top in front of us curving to the left. So so far I'd say this road's pretty well maintained. It looks like it's probably graded each year. Um, we're definitely at the end of the season now, it's November. So this is probably the worst the track gets. I imagine it gets, well, I don't know, I mean, after it rains, it probably gets pretty rutted out. 
and um, you know probably gets overgrown so we'll see how that goes but it's not too bad at the moment at least in this section hill there on top left I believe coming up to the left here is I think this is a pull through that can be used for camping but I'm not sure be good to have uh, comments below people can confirm that but I believe these well we're looking to the right here but yeah I believe this is the entrance to a pull through where the top part of that where it's flatter can be used for camping off of the main trail it sort of runs parallel to us here on the left I've seen those in the other part of Williams Hill too and I they always look a little steep on the approach, so I want to say that they're for camping, but I suppose it could be for quad bikes or something like that. Although the sign indicated that this is the route for quad bikes, so I'm, I'm going to go with camping. Correct me in the comments if that's not right. Right, and this is where that pull through that's what it is rejoins with the track here and you can see the track stretching ahead of us the view there down into the Salinas Valley the 101 freeway somewhere down there quick stop here and we'll take in the view looking west down into the Salinas Valley and the 101 freeway is in the bottom of there somewhere and my daughter Rivlin is my accomplice in today's exploration all right let's get back to the trail So we're about a third of the way in now, thereabouts. It's pretty clear so far. Pretty wide up here. Looks like there's plenty of room right now for camping off the sides of the track here um, for dispersed camping. And it definitely looks like these areas have been cleared out, been graded out. And for what I've seen on the map, uh, on the satellite map, I think there are some sort of more traditional um, camping areas that have been graded in. 
at an angle to the road for like parking a vehicle. I haven't seen them yet here in the flesh, but uh, I'll try and point those out if we come across them. And then ahead of us there on the right is uh, looking left down into Lockwood Valley there. Yeah, to the right here is another one of these, uh, what I'm going to call pull-throughs. So I think they're for camping. I think that's a place where you can pull off the main track and, you know, have plenty of room. Probably at the top where it's flatter. To pitch a tent or if you have a... Uh, camper shell on your truck or a rooftop tent you can park that up there don't know how windy it would be out here probably pretty windy on a ridge top and you can see the fence here on the left of us this you know it's private property over the fence line there so that's what I was mentioning earlier yeah and the pull through rejoins the road here on the right Salinas Valley down there. And then right in front of us there is the Junipero Serra Peak. And I forget the name of the peak to the right of it. So that is the highest peak in Monterey County, I believe. Yeah, the stretch is really open. I'm gonna guess it'd be breezy up here. I think you'd have to pick your day carefully. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't want to be up here in the wet. Some of the first part of the track is pretty steep and... I imagine this road can get pretty sloppy in the wet. Parasaraya right in front of us there. Parosara is about uh, 5,900 feet in elevation. Okay, so this is this is uh, more interesting. Looks like this is the part of the road less traveled. It's not too bad so far, but there's definitely more encroachment here on on both sides and in in the track itself, which gives me the feeling that this is not traveled as often. Well, let's see how far we can get. 
We're not too far from the end now, we're about two thirds of the way in. And so, for the squeamish, I would suggest closing your eyes and plugging your ears, because there may be some uh, pinstriping happening. Oh look, and there, I think that is a camping location that is sort of marked in um, at an angle to the road. And I think we'll probably see... <laughs> Yeah, not for the squeamish. We'll probably see a few of these. So here's another marker. That could be... Oh, well, I don't know. That could be another camping location. They're definitely bulldozed in. Or graded in. I'm gonna go into four low here. It's a little, looks a little steep just beyond. Okay. Into neutral and then into four low, all right. Yeah, these areas here on the left, you can see that's definitely being cleared to some extent at some point. On the satellite map, they're pretty clear they're sort of regularly carved in on the left hand side as we're looking at it. And uh, this is relatively steep. It probably doesn't look that way on the video. It never does, but it's... Uh, we are definitely going downhill here. And uh, the track is definitely narrower, I'll say that. Not impassable by any stretch, but it's uh, take it a bit more gingerly down here. I think we'll see how far we can get. Hopefully, we can get to the end. Um, I assume there is an end. I, I don't know if it's just a marker or if there's a gate, but we'll find out. squeeze through that one but it looks like uh, there's a few gatekeeper <laughs> trees ahead of us let's see all right we'll squeak through here hmm and the shadows are definitely getting a little longer here so I think we'll be okay. We're we're pretty close to the end of the track, I think, at this point. Yeah, this area here on the left is definitely cut in. Though, yeah, and there's a marker right there. Though it is um, a little overgrown too, so. All right. A foresty area. Interesting. Ouch. squeamish. I'm definitely going to have more pinstriping on the truck than I had.
There's quite a bit of deadwood up here too. I would have thought that would be a fire risk. Yikes. I'm gonna keep going as far as we can. We've got to be pretty close to the end, I would have thought. I should bring my uh, axle with me next time. Yeah, this stuff's just growing in the road here. Okay. It looks like I'm not the first to drive around this. Crunch. And then this one... I can't really avoid that. So... Ouch. Maybe the road just kind of fizzles out, I'm not sure. Uh, no, it seems to keep going. Oh dear. So close. <laughs> All right. the sound of the uh, branches against the canvas on the soft topper that you can hear. Alright, this one is right across.
Okay, it looks like uh, we may have reached the end here. That looks like, a, yeah, it's a gate ahead of us. All right. There's a sign on the gate too. Looks like there's a road over to the right. Interesting. Well, sure enough, the sign says it all. This is the end of the line. And uh, we're not going to show you the sign below this because it does contain an F-bomb and is a little less polite. So, let's turn around now and hyperlapse our way back out to the Lockwood San Lucas Road. If you've made it this far into the video, well done. We're almost at the end and uh, thank you for watching. If anybody has feedback on the extended format of this video, definitely would like to hear that. Feedback on that would be great. If you did enjoy the video, we'd appreciate a like. It makes a big difference to our channel. And if you want to see more of our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.